Hi, this is lesson number 55 from our Photoshop training series. In this exercise, we are going to learn how to create 3D text in Photoshop. Using this technique, we can create 3D text manually. Of course, in Photoshop latest version, we have already option for 3D. If we will click on window, you can see here we have 3D palette. And using this feature, we can create 3D in isometric environment. But here in this lesson, we are going to learn simple method on flat surface. We will create 3D. This is a single text layer. We copied in the same direction upward with a small increment to generate this 3D effect. To make it more realistic, we added layer styles such as drop shadow, bevel and emboss, settings. So let's get started. Let's open new document click on file new just 1000 by 1000 pixel for this demonstration that is good size and here we have square document the first thing we are going to add background let's open the layer palette and here we have thumb of the canvas previously I selected light pink and dark pink foreground and background color you can click here and set your desired color I am going to fill these two color using gradient tool so here we have gradient click on gradient tool we are going to fill the background layer so I will just click and drag diagonally to add the color so this is how we have background now we will type text here we have text tool click in your canvas and type your desired text I type love in capital letter and my font is Barlow condense black you can choose a similar thick font for better result so we will select the text we can increase the text size click on move tool so here we have text so the first thing we are going to do is to rotate and then we'll skew go to edit transform and here we have option skew just to get some perspective view of the text and that is fine hit enter I think we can just reduce a little bit the size so this is how we have text let's apply the layer style right click on the layer go to blending option the first thing I'm going to do is to add gradient overlay so here we have effect double click previously I use this color so it is there in your case you can click and choose from purple presets click on this drop down and choose this color and the other thing you can do is to add this effect satin double click you can see here in the corner we have shared this is because of this effect so double click to activate and then you need to manage this way in the corner by using angle look at this if I will move this this goes to the other side so I want to bring the shade in the corner here so you need to adjust a little bit the angle so this is fine in my case distance is 21 size is 15 and I choose contour the first one click OK so our basic text is ready now we are going to make multiple copies that is really simple the layer is selected press alt key from the keyboard and use up arrow key while pressing alt key press up arrow key two three four five this way you can create multiple copies as much depth thickness you want you can add let's say 35 so here we have 35 layers these 35 layers created this 3d effect if I will click on the top layer look at this first one second so this how one by one the layers copied with the same 
small increment sequence upward to build the tax. Control Z. Now, here all what we have to do, we need to clear the layer style from the top layer. So, copy 35 is the top layer. Right click and simply clear layer style, satin and gradient. This is the color once we type this text. So, if we want, we can change the color. Double click here. The layer is selected. I will choose white color. Click OK. So, here we have white color. For some reason, you can see that the layer has been renamed once we change the color love, but that is fine. The first thing we are going to do is to change the blend mode. Okay, now it is normal. I will click here and apply overlay. That is beautiful. But to make it more clear, we need to move the satin from the second layer. Okay, that is copy 34. So, this is the top layer. Under this, we have copy 34. Select it. Right click. Go to blending option. And just move settings from this layer so the effect will be more clear click ok so here we have clear text if you want to have a little bit light from the back edge simply move the top layer upward use arrow key and now you can see here we have a little bit lighting from the edge now here we have 35 layer and it is quite hard to manage this way the 3d effect we can bring to one layer we can merge all of them leave the top layer and the second layer from the top as it is select the copy 33 these two layers we are not going to merge and go all the way and select the bottom text layer by pressing shift key so all the layers are selected. Click here in the layer palette and click on merge layers. So, if I will click on merge layer, all selected layer will be merged. Now, our 3D, it is in one single layer. If I will click and drag, look at this. This is a single block. On the top of this, we have here layer copy 34. From this layer, we move the satin layer style and the top one is with the blend mode overlay. To make a little bit more realistic with the 3D, we can add drop shadow. Select the 3D layer, right click, go to blending option. And here we have drop shadow. Double click, give your desired size and direction. In my case, that is fine. Click OK. To make it a little bit more realistic, of course, we need to customize this shadow we can separate it from the 3d layer to do that while the layer is selected click on layer menu go to layer style and click create layer once i will click on create layer photoshop will create independent new layer for the drop shadow just click ok this message and you can see under the 3d we have another layer independent layer that is holding the shadow Let's apply the layer mask. Click on layer mask. Use brush, soft brush. Make sure that your color is black. You can press cap locks if you cannot see the brush preview. Make sure it is a smooth brush. And just erase this way, something like this. Here also we will do the same thing. In this area completely we can remove because there is no base. Also we can do something here. From the top, if we want, we can add also a little bit crease with the edges. Let's select the top layer, right click, go to blending option. Here we are going to add effect beaver and emboss. Double click. This is what I applied previously, so it is there. If you want, you can make it chisel hard and increase the depth to make it more clear. You can increase the size. So you can see that there is a crease, chamfer crease we have here. Uh, you can do of course this way, but I am going to choose smooth, reduce the depth and also size I need 
small size that is fine click ok and that's all if you want to organize a little bit more you can link all the text layer we have only four layer so the top one is selected press shift key and select the last layer that is a shadow simply right click and click on link layers so now you can move them all together this way and even by pressing control key if you will hold it from the corner or here you can still distort this way get your desired position and place the text wherever you want and hit enter so this how using this simple and easy technique we created this beautiful piece of 3d text that's all for now i hope you enjoyed this lesson if you like this video make sure that you hit the subscribe button and click on the bell notification so you will be notified every time i upload new video thank you